went to bed last night and all was normal. And then this morning, it looks like we're waking up to a... bit of a winter wonderland. It's all frozen. Good morning from Southern Kentucky. What an awesome stay at the Beehive Mountain Campground. What a fun time. Anyway, moving on. Uh, it's the first time on the whole trip that I have something planned at a certain time that I have to be there. We are headed to Mammoth Cave. I am very excited about that. But first, I'm gonna go to Bowling Green, Kentucky and go visit the Corvette Museum. Something I've always wanted to do. It might surprise you, but I'm a big car guy. I've had 11 Mustangs. I've never had a Corvette, but I am a huge fan of cars, which is probably why I enjoy building the van so much. So that's our first stop of the day. And then back over to Mammoth Cave. I've got two nights booked at the Mammoth Cave Campground. So we're just gonna stay there. I booked the historical tour, which I'm excited about that. So it's like a two hour tour down into the mammoth sized caves. I'm very excited about that. Uh, it's supposed to be strenuous. Um, I don't know why I chose that one, uh, especially because I climbed a mountain yesterday. I know it was only a thousand feet, but it counts. So that's a game plan for the day. Onyx is excited. cars have already been purchased and are being delivered today. This is where the sinkhole collapse happened. Where it swallowed up those five Corvettes. I don't know, it was famous in the news maybe eight years ago. Uh, and now they have a simulator. was cool. I really like the uh, Corvette Museum. I mean, it's just such an iconic vehicle when it comes to American cars. Uh, it was just awesome to see all that. Uh, it was also, and I had forgotten about that whole thing where the place had collapsed. Like a whole wing of, of the museum had collapsed from a sinkhole back in uh, 2014. And they have all those cars that are still there, uh, all those cars that got damaged. I mean, millions, millions of dollars worth of damages. Um, that was really cool. It was cool to see, like, as soon as you go in, like, they have these line of, like, brand new, the brand new C8 Corvettes, all these 20, 22. They're just kind of roped off and waiting for their new owners. Uh, because I had forgotten that one of the options when you buy a brand new Corvette, one of the options that you can check off is if you want to take delivery in Bowling Green at the museum. Uh, so that was really cool. Those were all customer cars. So it was pretty neat. But now we are moving on, headed to, speaking of Corvettes. That's a bunch of them. Uh, we're moving on, moving on to Mammoth Cave. I've got campground reservations for three nights. I've got reservations to the historic tour this afternoon at 3.15. It's uh, about 1.45 right now, so I'm gonna do that. And I don't know. I'm going exploring, man. There's a bunch of caves in the area, which are really, uh, which I'm, I'm fascinated with. This is the visitor center at Mammoth Cave National Park. 
is the largest cave system in the world. Over 400 miles of caves. So many miles. So this is my 26th national park. And the first time I have ever taken a tour, guided tour. So we're gonna go, um, I think it's a couple miles of hiking. Two hours, two and a half hours. It's called the historic tour. So I'm pretty excited. This is one of my favorite things about this park. Above you, there are tons of hikes and trails and things like that that you can explore. And there's also all these signs. It tells you basically what's directly below you. However many hundreds of feet that is. Um, but I think it's very cool. Also, I did not expect to wake up in this winter wonderland. It's cold. He loves the cold. I'm, I'm okay with it. Better than Florida. This route that we're on right now is the old train tracks trail that connected Mammoth Cave to um, what's called Cave City, which is uh, one of the bigger towns, I guess, especially back in the day, back in the 17 and 1800s. It's cool. I love walking through history like this. We have made it to the oldest establishment in Kentucky. Now I'm just getting us a bathroom. Now if you'll excuse me. So I'm just sort of exploring all these back roads near Mammoth Cave and came across this cool church. Eighteen twenty-seven. It's almost two hundred years old. Somebody drew Nazi symbols all over that Bible. What is wrong with people? I love old graveyards. I just, I like to look at the dates. I just like to like feel the history. Early 1800s. That's so crazy.
That was really cool. Diamond Caverns. So it's only, um, I don't know, maybe five miles from Mammoth Cave. Was it too expensive? It was like $22 for a tour. Uh, it was an hour tour. I uh, went down into it. It looked a lot different than uh, Mammoth Cave. Uh, there's a lot more, I don't know, called geodes. You could see a lot more. I mean, there's a reason why they call it Diamond Caverns, because it's shinier. But completely different than Mammoth Cave. So it's worthwhile. Glad we did that in the area. So just uh, do a little walk with Onyx and gonna continue exploring. Look, I know I say this probably all the time, but it's hard to put a value on a nice hot shower when it's cold as shit outside. So this is the Mammoth Park store where they have various uh, sundries. And among those uh, sundries is showers, which is wonderful. It's like a dollar fifty for a four minute shower. A mental note, it's three minutes to heat up. So keep that in mind. Just so nice to be clean. It's the best feeling. All right, so we're going back to camp, cook, edit this video probably. Woo! Well, that was incredible. Mammoth Cave National Park should definitely be on your radar. Shout out to Josh, by the way. Thanks for that. I just love our national park system. It's just like everything is so different. I mean, Everglades National Park doesn't look anything like Mammoth Caves, which looks nothing like Black Canyon, but every single one of them in their own right is just so awe-inspiring. Mammoth Cave is, um, I mean, it's almost 400 miles underground. Uh, there's tons of different places to discover. It's just so cool being above ground too there because there's so much to do. There's so many activities. There's so many miles for biking, for hiking. Uh, it's just so awesome that Black Dog could come with. Yes, I think he's paying attention back there. It's just, it's also weird because like the entire time that I was there, I was when you're camping above ground, you're just like looking around like, all right, is this ground gonna cave underneath me? Uh, because everything's just sinkhole. It's like, if you look at the topography from above, it just looks like, a golf ball it's just a series of sinkholes and so like you're just constantly wondering uh, am i gonna get sucked down into the earth our national park system is so incredibly diverse mammoth cave looks and feels like nothing of the others there's beauty there's life there's history and there's nuance above her but underneath is where she truly shines figuratively of course because she is deep she is dark and there are many places still undiscovered. And she has carved from many years and many experiences, but she hasn't reached her final beautiful form. And this moment in time is what we have, to see what she was, to see where she came from, to imagine where she's going, but most importantly, to appreciate what she is. The symbolism is obvious. We're all carved into the beauty we are from underneath, sculpted from experiences, from time, from life's river flow. I just want us to appreciate each other as the unique systems we are. Individual, gradual, in a state of constant evolution. Until next time, appreciate these moments we have in each other's lives. Take the time to understand what it took to get us here. Be willing to evolve and keep exploring life with an open mind. This guy almost hit. You! Uh, we were headed north into Louisville. Actually, I don't think they pronounce the I. I think it's Louisville. Louisville? I guess Kentucky's really big on their health foods, uh, which is why they are the second fattest state in the United States. But they're coming for you, West Virginia.